All right, I'm back. I have like four chapters to read through today. I'm behind. This is chapter 15. Um, let's see, 15 is Muscles and Tendons, Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, PMNR. Okay. Section 15.1, Muscles and Tendons. Types of Muscle. Bones of the skeleton support the body and joints provide mobility. Neither of these functions can occur without muscles and their tendons to provide both. The three types of muscle are skeletal, cardiac, and smooth. Skeletal muscle contracts on demand to provide posture and movement. Cardiac and smooth muscle contract and relax without conscious thought. Cardiac muscle to power the heart contractions and smooth muscle to power the movement of food through gastrointestinal tract. The process is called peristalsis or peristalsis. Peristalsis. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, let's see. It's peristalsis. Peristalsis. Functions and structure of skeletal muscle. Functions of skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle is attached to one or more bones. It is also called voluntary muscle because it is under conscious control. Because of their length, muscle cells are usually called muscle fibers. Each skeletal muscle consists of bundles of muscle fibers, blood vessels, and nerves with connective tissue sheets that hold the fibers together and connect the muscle to bone. Did you know the origin of a muscle is, is its attachment to a more fixed part of the skeleton? And did you know the insertion of a muscle is, atta is its attachment to a more movable part of the skeleton? Skeletal muscle has the following functions. First is movement. All skeletal muscles are attached to bones, and when the muscle contracts, it causes movement of the bones to which it is attached. This enables you to walk, run, and work with your hands. Second uh, is posture. The tone of skeletal muscle holds you straight when sitting, standing, or moving. Third is body heat. When skeletal muscles contract, heat is produced as a byproduct of the energy reaction. This heat is essential to maintain your body temperature. Fourth is respiration. Skeletal muscles move the chest wall as you breathe. Fifth is communication. Skeletal muscles enable you to speak, write, type, gesture, and grimace. All right, structure of skeletal muscle. I see skeletal muscle fibers are narrow and long, up to one and a half inches, approximately 3.7 centimeters in length. Each muscle fiber has a thin layer of connective tissue around it. Bundles of muscle fibers are grouped together into fascicles that are also surrounded by a layer of connected tissue. Skeletal muscle fibers contain alternating dark and light bands, striations, created by the pattern of protein filaments responsible for muscle contraction. Skeletal muscle can be referred to as striated muscle. Here's the structure of skeletal muscle. Your tendon, deep fascia, skeletal muscles, muscle fascicle, muscle fiber, the little piece inside, the blood vessels, and nerve. Bundles and fascicles form a muscle that is separated from, an adjacent, from adjacent muscles and kept in position by a dense layer of connective tissue called fascia. My favorite layer. Fascia extends beyond the muscle to form a tendon. The tendon attaches to the peris, periosteum of a bone at the origin and insertion of the muscle. As an adult, you have the same number of muscle fibers as you had in late childhood. When you exercise and 
lift weights and your muscles enlarge or hypertrophy, you have increased the thickness of each muscle fiber. If you do not use your muscles, the reverse happens and the muscles atrophy. So atrophy, A is without, trophy is nourishment, so the wasting away or diminished volume of tissue, an organ or a body part. Contract, uh, con is with and together, tract is draw, it means draw together or shorten. Fascia, Latin for a band, sheet of fibrous connective tissue. Fascicle is Latin for small bundle, it's a bundle of muscle fibers. Fiber is strand or filament. Hypertrophy, meaning excessive nourishment, increased in size but not in number of an individual tissue element. Insert verb, the insertion of a muscle is the attachment. Okay, so insert is Latin to join, whatever. Okay, and then we have insertion. The insertion of a muscle is the attachment of a muscle to a more movable part of the skeleton as distinct from the origin. Origin uh, is fixed source of a muscle at its attachment to bone. Peristalsis is waves of alternative contraction and relaxation of the alimentary canal wall to move food along the digestive tract. Striated muscle, um, another term for skeletal muscle, and striation means stripes. Tone, uh, tension present in resting muscles, and voluntary muscle is another term for skeletal muscle. It is under the control of the will. Skeletal muscle can also be a voluntary muscle. Skeletal muscle also known as voluntary muscle. Okay, skeletal muscle is attached to the bone, one or more bones. Skeletal muscle is under conscious control, therefore it's considered a voluntary muscle. Or, 